morning, folks. Brian here at Geomechanic Earthwatch. Sunday, July 6th. Correction. Yes, July 6th, 2025. So, um, they've done what I've been waiting for them to do. The uh, National Data Boy Center. So, the reason why I've always had this on my YouTube page, a playlist under uh, National Data Boy Center, is... The buoys are anchored to the ocean floor, and if there's going to be any motion on the anchor, on the ocean floor, that will put the buoy into a vent mode. This is one of the very handy tools I used to use, because whenever a buoy goes off in the absence of an earthquake, that suggests that there's movement on the ocean floor, either subsidence or inflation. So uh, some examples... For example, uh, recently, the axial seamount. Now you can see the way they used to report it. So they would show you uh, how far it's uh, either uh, dropped or risen, and whether it's a uh, 15 minute interval, one minute interval, 15 second interval, etc. Now, they have made changes so that when a boy goes into motion in the absence of an earthquake, it's no longer going to register. Let me show you some examples. First of all, I'm going to show you the boys that uh, used to go in. I'm sure they still do, not being reported anymore, used to go in motion in the absence of earthquakes. They are uh, entrance of the Indian Ocean into the Timor Sea. So let's click on this one, see what changes they've made. So you notice the manner in which they're reporting. Totally different. Adam and Sea, another common one. Coral Sea. Cascadia subduction zone, same thing. Uh, one of the ones in the Gulf of Alaska on a regular basis, at least weekly. Uh, I don't think it was uh, this one. So here's an example. So they haven't changed this one because this is not one of the ones that would go into motion. was uh, one of these this one I think so here you go they've made changes other locations that would go into motion in the absence of earthquakes is off the coast of New York and uh, Nova Scotia this one you see they made changes in the manner in which they report but not this one because this one never went into motion before Off the coast of uh, Chile and Peru, this is another one. See, they've made their changes in the manner in which they report. And the changes are done only to the ones, again, that uh, go into motion because of, uh, or are activated because of motion of the ocean floors. See Hawaii, no changes. Still the old uh, way of reporting. So just a point of observation. I no longer have that tool of monitoring to tell me that when there's a uh, motion of the uh, ocean floors while we're here. Sea surface temperatures are starting to increase in the area of the earthquake swarm, which is right here. You can see the purple or the violet.
off the coast of uh, Texas. Uh, while we're here, let's check our earthquakes. Uh, Panama. Okay, they're not showing it here. Uh, this one close to uh, Pele. 4.4 just happened at 10 kilometers depth or otherwise shallow. This is becoming a common location here. Martinique, Pele. Looking at our sulfur dioxide. And one more thing. pressure systems. So currently tracking right over Taiwan. Pressure down to 958 hectopascals. It's going to be there for a while. So we can expect a possible earthquake and or volcanic activity in this area. Uh, one more thing before I leave you. Check our heat. Okay, this one reported last night. Still here. Does not appear to be any changes. Okay, folks. Later, eh?